the show tonight, Greg. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Tonight on The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, I'll be playing the part of Craig Ferguson. <laughs> we will learn tonight what certain people think about my moustache. <laughs> including my mother. <laughs> who's not too happy about it. Also, we will discover the secrets of my uh, ball juggling act. <laughs> It's the second day of Vegas week, so um, there'll be lots of me plugging my shows for next week in Vegas. And there's going to be... Oh, Prince Charles will be on the show tonight, which is interesting. No, wait, please hold. Please, because what's interesting is I have a sneaking suspicion that he may also have grown a moustache. Which, if that's true, that's what the, uh, what do they call that again? Kermit? Kismet. Kismet. <laughs> Kermit's, Kermit's the frog. <laughs> when something, when there's a weird spooky coincidence, <laughs> uh, when there's a weird spooky coincidence, people say, ooh, that's Kermit, isn't it? I think a lot of people are beginning to suspect I grew the moustache because I'm high. <laughs> Which is not true. <laughs> but I am a little hungry. <laughs> so I'm going to get a little snack, and then when I come back, we'll start the show. <laughs> Hey! Hello, you. Come on in. Welcome. Welcome to Los Angeles, California. <laughs> Welcome to the Late Night Show. I am your host, TV Scraper. Please, please. Please, I know. Please sit down. Relax. Sit down. It's my massage. <laughs> my massage makes people whoop with delight. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Uh, is it? Why? Well, I've still got my moustache. Day two. <laughs> Not everyone's happy about it. <laughs> I don't care. A great day for America, though President Bush described the nation's troubled financial system as basically sound. <laughs> I know. I say it was basically the sound of someone talking out of their ass. <laughs> now, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, everyone. I am an American, I can say that. <laughs> There's news in the world of late night uh, celebrity breakup news. Jimmy Kimmel and Sarah Silverman. Are no I know. Which means that funny, sexy comic is back on the market. Call me, Jimmy. <laughs> Do you see the message I'm sending you, Jimmy? Do I have to wear a wife beater to get the message across? <laughs> It's day two of Vegas week, everybody. Do we have a graphic for Vegas week? Where's the graphic? Yeah, there you are. Yes. Now, by a strange twist of fate, during Vegas week, I'm talking, it's Vegas all this week, and I'm doing shows in Las Vegas next week. I know, what are the odds? Do we have a graphic for that?
Book early to avoid disappointment. <laughs> anyway, my show in Vegas is not the typical Vegas show. There's no Cirque du Soleil stuff. I won't be twisting my body or juggling weird balls. <laughs> well, I might do some ball juggling. <laughs> but then I'll have to go on stage. <laughs> I might be doing ball juggling now. Anyways, day two of my moustache. Uh, now, names for the moustache, of course. The nose neighbour, the fanny duster, the welcome mat to my mouth. I have named my moustache Rudy. People have gone mad about this moustache. The world's gone crazy. They are overreacting. People on their blogs... Aah! Like, ha! Ah, the moustache! People are like... Oh, dun, 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 dun. Coming up to CBS, the flaming torches. We hate the moustache! We hate and the moustache is scared. Moustache is hiding. Going, Don't let them get me, Craig! <laughs> People have got... It's a moustache! It's not really even a moustache yet! <laughs> it is the beginnings of a moustache. It is the idea. It is, na it is the notion of a moustache. <laughs> People are nuts about this damn thing. Look at the front cover of the New York Times today. Look at that! Come on! Of course, these, these, that, these other stories are made up. Bin Laden hates Applebee's. He'd never go there. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't like the way they do the pizza. I... Anyway, like I said, the internet's buzzing about the moustache. And when I say the internet, I mean three people in a chat room. But they're mad! <laughs> I've heard all your complaints, and let me tell you this. I don't give a rat's ass. You want me to lose the stash, you shave it from my cold, dead face. <laughs> what I'm saying is... What I'm saying is... that my mother doesn't like my moustache. <laughs> Which is fair enough. She's my mother, but she didn't have to put it on her website, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Especially under the headline, shave it off, fatty. I mean, come on! <laughs> Look, I didn't plan to grow the moustache. I did not. What was happening? I was on vacation a couple of weeks, and I had a kind of a beard going on. Well, when I say a beard, you know, it looked like I'd been eating chocolate. Anyway... <laughs> I had a bit of a beard, and I'm sha I, you know, I get back to work, I think, well, I better shave, so I start, you know, with my usual, <laughs> shave my whole body. And then I get to hear in the bathroom, and I hear a tiny little voice, please don't do it. <laughs> and I'm thinking, how did you get into the bathroom, Tom Cruise? I'm thinking. <laughs> but it wasn't. It was not Tom Cruise. It was not Tom Cruise, it was little Rudy. <laughs> It was just a baby. Criticising my moustache is saying, like, that baby's a piece of crap, I could kick its ass. <laughs> Which is ridiculous. You don't think, say that about a baby. You wait till it's a toddler and go, then I could kick its ass. <laughs> You've got to let things grow is what I'm saying. You know, keep an open mind. It was like when this show started, everyone thought it was crap, and now we've been on it for a few years. Well, OK, that's a bad example, but what I'm saying is... <laughs> I am keeping the moustache for now. At least I didn't grow it to hide something. My dad used to always say, never trust a man with a beard, you don't know what he's hiding. I know. Hiding his chin, clearly. <laughs> and probably some crumbs. <laughs> and the fact he has a small pee-pee. <laughs> That's right, I said it. Every man with a beard has a small tadger. Take that, Santa Claus. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true about Santa. It is. Why do you think he hangs around with elves? <laughs> Perspective, bitch. Look it up. <laughs> it's not me talking, it's Rudy. It's the moustache. Yeah, that's right. I love it when we say dirty stuff. Come on, be more dirty. Quiet, Rudy. <laughs> this is the longest I've ever let facial hair grow. I have to admit, it is starting to tickle. <laughs> well, uh, at least according to my personal assistant, Brian, it tickles, right, Brian? Brian, 
is a girl's name in America, right? <laughs> anyway, when this moustache gets longer, I'm going to have to trim it. Start I'll have to trim it because it starts to curl. <laughs> Do you know what I've always wondered? You know, why hair is, you know, if you can have straight hair everywhere else in your body, but like downstairs, <laughs> it's curly. And I, cu I know why. Because what happens is that hair downstairs, right? Bear with me, it's a theory. The hair downstairs, it comes out like normal hair. It's just like growing along. And then it realizes where <laughs> And it tries to grow. Oh, no! And it tries to curl around and go back. But it can't get back in. And it goes, and then ends up in a spiral of curliness. <laughs> We'll be right back after this. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the big show. I try not to talk about my moustache. But I can't help it. <laughs> Some people have said the moustache makes me look evil. And they have a point, actually, I have to say, because I have, I'm starting to feel evil. <laughs> see? Not, no, not sex evil, bad, not evil. Because there'll be some evil bastards in history. Stalin had a moustache, Hitler had a moustache, uh, this guy, this guy had a moustache. There, yeah, look at... <laughs> Did you take that picture out of my office? <laughs> That's not fair, actually, because that picture's from the 1970s. Everybody was hairy in the 70s. Men, men had great, great big, thick, hairy moustaches. Women had great big, thick ha pocketbooks. They had big, thick, hairy <laughs> pocketbooks. <laughs> Do you know what's weird? When someone famous for having a moustache shaves their moustache off. Do you remember when Alex Trebek from Jeopardy shaved off his moustache? And without his moustache, he looked naked. <laughs> I wasn't that used to being turned on while I was watching Jeopardy. <laughs> I had to phrase all my answers in the form of an erection. <laughs> all right. I can't be mocking. I won't talk about the stash. I'm done with all that. Do we have time for an email tonight? Do we have time for yes, it? Oh, time yeah. The fridge. Let's roll the dice down on the strip. Then drink too much and get a hooker with a whip. Yeah. Vegas, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, here's my quandary. Here, I'm on the horns of a dilemma here. Here's my thing. See, because on the one hand, regular emails. On the other hand, emails relating to the moustache. <laughs> All right, I'll look a little bit at the moustache. No, the moustache no. ones or regular email ones? <laughs> moustache. All right. It's not a democracy, you know. Uh, all right. Um, mm, that's rude. Um... Uh, this is from Lisa in Amarillo in Texas. I've been to Amarillo, it's lovely. They've got the, I, what's that road that goes through there? The I-40. That's the I-40 that goes through Amarillo. You get on it, you keep going, you're out Amarillo in like minutes. <laughs> but if you stop, it's fabulous. So I hear, I didn't stop. But the, uh... Anyway, this is from Lisa who says, uh, Rocking haughty Craig. Oh, you... <laughs> Will you now, like Jason Lee, be offering free moustache rides? Where do I sign up? Love and kisses, Lisa. No. <laughs> this is from Jean in Shortsville, New York. Uh, New York 14548, in case you need to get in touch with Jean. <laughs> Hi, Craig. Not too keen on your moustache. Yeah, I meant was thanks for your input, Lisa. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just keep, I'm trying to keep an open mind. It's just something I'm trying out. <laughs> uh, uh, this is from Chris in St. Paul. 
Your new moustache makes you look exactly like my dad. P.S. Will you marry me? Well, even though now in California I legally could marry you, Chris. Oh, no, Chris is one of those names, isn't it? It's like a man or a woman. You don't know. Maybe you wouldn't find out until you got married. Maybe you're originally from Europe and you don't care. Anyway, uh, if you want to marry somebody who looks exactly like your dad, that's probably freaky. <laughs> so I'll just put that there. <laughs> All right, regular non-moustache related email. Oh, by the way, if you want to send me any emails uh, to me about the moustache, send them to conanobrien.com. <laughs> All right, um, this is from Alexandria in McKinney in Texas. They're all from Texas tonight. Well, two of them. <laughs> Alexandria, you know, that's, uh, wasn't that the name of a, a large town that used to be in Egypt? It's probably moved to Texas. Uh, <laughs> The Library of Alexandria, that was one of the great uh, wonders of the ancient world. The Library of it's all been changed now with iPods and stuff. <laughs> anyway, uh, Alexandria says, Craig, why do f a fat chance and a slim chance mean the same thing? You see, now that, uh, that's the kind of question I like, because I don't, I don't mind if I never find out the answer. <laughs> Here's another one from somebody called Chris. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> Probably pretty good, really. Yes. Anyway, this is from Chris in Lone Jack, Missouri. See, that's the kind of town I should live in with this moustache. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of Lone Jack, Missouri. You don't say you come from a place if you're... If you're from Lone Jack, you wouldn't say you, I come from Lone Jack. You'd say, I'm out of Lone Jack. <laughs> I'm the Wichita lineman. <laughs> Way down the line. <laughs> anyway, Chris says, I am 13 and I watch your show every night. It is worth losing three hours of sleep to see your show. <laughs> well, here's, here's the, the, the... Now, is it because you're 13 and you're watching the show every night and I'm looking at how your spelling's going, Chris? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I'm not sure. Go to bed. Uh, I know, but we've got one more. Plus, with a moustache like this, you can't live by the rules, buddy. This is from Tyler in Grantsville. Says, how come the weather never changes in the background? Easy answer there, Tyler. You smart ass. It's uh, because the. Have you noticed the moustache has made me a little more aggressive? <laughs> I, I've just realised this. And I am profoundly sorry. I ain't. I ain't sorry at all. <laughs> I'll come into your house and get you. Rudy! I mean it. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> no, I, I, the weather doesn't change in the background because it's Los Angeles. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. You coming back. You know what we call that in the studio? Coming out of commercial. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks for coming out of commercial, everybody. <laughs> Listen, while it's, ju while it's just us, I want to tell you something. Stay there. <laughs> I hate the moustache. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
I hate the mustache, but I feel I've committed to it. I don't know what to do. If I shave it off, I'm weak. If I keep it, I itch all night long. Plus, I look like I'm trying to sell you a car. I don't know what to do. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but Prince Charles is not only the Prince of Wales, but also the king of late night television in the UK. Take a look at this clip from uh, Prince Charles's BBC Late Night Show. Take a look at this. Live from Las Vegas, America, it's a very special, rather late program with Prince Charles. Brought to you by the Nevada Tourism Council. Nevada, come for the gambling, stay for the whores. Ladies and gentlemen, the king of late night. Hello! Hi! Welcome to the... <laughs> Welcome to the... <laughs> Welcome to the Las Vegas edition of the Rather Late Program. I'm your host, TV's Prince Charles. Now, you may be wondering why I have a moustache. Well, I have a moustache because I'm in Vegas. And I want to look cool. Also, it hides the herpes. Well... The upstairs herpes, anyway. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. What? Well, shut up and I'll tell you. Well, what then? Well, come on! <laughs> President Bush has lifted up the van on offshore drilling. Hmm. I'm not sure who's happier, oil companies or gay sailors. Hi. <laughs> No, shut up. Well, no, listen. <laughs> my tree, my teeth are trying to escape from the mustache. I say, I say, my wife Camilla said she wanted to see the real Las Vegas. So I got her drunk and took all her money and sold her to some bikers for me. <laughs> What a euphoric high, and I haven't even tried the meth yet. Ha ah! ha! Let's ascend to the throne, shall we? <laughs> Do we have time for a parchment? No, 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 no. Oh. Oh. It's time for a parchment. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Aha! Uh -huh. This is from, uh, this is from Christie in Pahrump, Nevada. Pahrump, I like Pahrump. It's the only time I've ever heard of that's named after a fart. <laughs> It's like the town, years ago, cowboys were sitting around and they were saying, oh, why don't we name this town? And one of them went, Prump, and they went... That's a good name! That's a good name! <laughs> He's from the town of Squeaky. <laughs> Get it? Oh, no. <laughs> what it meant was his farts are squeaky. Anyway, this is from, uh, you know, Christine Perump. She says, Dear Prince Charles, I am a buxom 23-year-old with a gambling problem and a bad case of nymphomania. What should I do? Well, these are serious problems. <laughs> and you should talk to somebody about it. I suggest you come to my hotel room for a chat. And then we'll play a little strip poker. You can play too. Winner take all. Texas Oldham. <laughs> Is that the same time? 
Well, join me. Join me when we're back in London, where my guests will be the world's most dangerous terrorist group. The ladies of The View. Ah! <laughs> everybody thanks everybody for coming out of commercial <laughs> sorry for saying that but I work in TV <laughs> so so listen to this I I someone threw a plaid I call it plaid now because I'm an American but it, it's a tartan scarf at me uh, and it's got a sign on it that says kiss me Craig Craig kiss me it's my 48th birthday now Here's a tip. If you want to get somebody to kiss you for your birthday, leave out the date. <laughs> Just put birthday. Just put birthday. Birthday will usually be enough. But then I saw who threw it out. I would never kiss a man with a moustache. <laughs> My birth... Unlike some of you. <laughs> My first guest tonight is an international superstar. I don't know why she's here, frankly. She can do better than this show. <laughs> she's got a new show, The Gift of Music, at the Hollywood Bowl on July the 18th and 19th. And she's in Atlanta on August the 2nd and Philadelphia on August the 7th. <gasps> do that for me and I have them professionally warmed. <laughs> I guess you come every evening and I don't or something like that. <laughs> what is this? Okay. Yes. I'm Last very, time I was here you didn't have that. No, I know. I, I don't know if it'll be here next time either. I, I'm very unsure about it. I what see. do you think? Well, it's a bit Fu Manchu-ish, isn't is it? Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. actually, it does lend a sort of rakish air. I know, that's what I thought. I'm not sure, though. See, the truth is, Craig, that I'd take it either way with you. I'd, I mean, really, I think it's great, and without it, it's great, too. No, yeah. thank you. Well, I thought I'd butter you up a yeah, bit. No, yeah, no, it's nice. Yeah. Well, which brings me nicely to what you've come here to plug. Yes. Yes. Well, I thought I would just no, pop in and say hello. <laughs> yeah, you know what I used to love? Do you remember the old, uh, they used to have the old Christmas specials that Bing Crosby would yes. have them? And he'd say, like, he, was, he would have an old fake fire going on, and he'd be saying, oh, Merry Christmas, everybody. i got to go and beat the kids. And then... <laughs> The doorbell would go, and he would go, oh, somebody at the door, and, and he'd go to the... And be like, Clooney or yeah, something. Or yeah, or David Bowie was there or yes, something. Remember that? Right. Your David Bowie came to Bing Crosby's house for Christmas? <laughs> what are the odds of that? <laughs> and they sang together. I know. Well, I, as I say, I just thought I'd pop in. Well, like, you popped you know. in. And so we'll, we won't sing together, though. Really? No, I can't sing with his moustache. <laughs> Now, Frankly, you... I couldn't either. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about... <laughs> too hard, much too hard. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. I know, I, I completely understand. Now, you know, by the way, explain. can I tell you, that's what I used to look like uh, before I grew the moustache? Yeah, in your youth, right? Yeah. Yes, very Now, you, this is a book, of, what's this book about? This is a book that I wrote with my daughter several years ago. Okay. And it's a little fairy tale, a fable for children. Is this a little fairy here? No, okay. he's, he, this, is, this is Simeon, and the book is called Simeon's Gift. And right. to be really brief, uh, she, my daughter and I are very 
passionate about the arts and literacy and we tried to combine the two right. in a little story about uh, music and the creative process and about a musician who goes out to find his talent and his seek his muse and so on right. and this little book has had the most amazing serendipity and good fortune and it has brought me to the hollywood bowl this friday and saturday and then atlanta and then philadelphia are you, are you going to sing i'm no, i'm going to sort of well i'll get to that in a right, second. Okay. but it's going to be with a beautiful symphony orchestra and a little bit like peter and the wolf or the carnival of oh, pianos. Right, right, i'll yeah. be narrating and i've got five wonderful people with me and um, it's going to be a super evening. The first half of the evening is all about... It's the gifts of music, old and new. Right. And the first half is Rodgers and Hammerstein. Second half is Simeon's Gift, which has just been set to music. And it is glorious. And are you right? going to sing? And I'm going to surprise a few people by doing a few things, yes. Right. I'm, I wouldn't say that I sing the way I used to in, on the screen, but there's a certain timbre left. Oh, nice. Right. Yeah, I like that. Because you didn't sing for a while. I haven't. To be truthful, I, I, I go out and I do speaking engagements, but I haven't been back you know, on the stage for about uh, 10 years or more. Are you nervous? It, are, are you kidding? My heart just keeps dropping into my boots and coming back up again. May I suggest something that will give yes. you great confidence? A false moustache. Ah. <laughs> Well, I nearly walked out in one tonight, but I just thought it no, would give the no, wrong no, impression. No, no, you yeah. no, you mustn't. Shall I try it? I'm not sure. Well, I don't know. What Do you have any little uh, things that you used to do when you were performing, like any little OCD things before you go on? I used to wear magic underpants and stuff like that. <laughs> No, I haven't sort of... Th it's been so long, Craig, I've sort of forgotten. No, no, you, you've got to try to... Do, do, get a, the, all the little rituals you used to do yes. when you were working... Because you worked back in, in music hall oh, in the yeah, UK. Oh, yeah, lots and lots of... Right, and you, yeah. you were out there singing every yeah. night. You must have had a little routine. Well, a few things. My mum was more superstitious than I am. Right. She was really superstitious. What did she do? Well, you know, you couldn't whistle in the dressing room. You had couldn't walk under ladders and all of that kind of... And if you did whistle in the dressing room, you had to turn around three times and go out and knock and come in again. That kind of stupid thing. Well, do that. Don't don't whistle and do that anyway. You think it'll help? Yes, yeah. What All you right. do is uh, don't whistle, but walk around in three circles, go out and come back in again, and then you'll have the luck that you'll need by, uh, and also it'll be on top of not whistling, which is Are you sure you bonus. know what you're talking I'm about? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm even here. <laughs> No, I, I think I, I worry about you being nervous. Well, you must be nervous. Yeah. Well, everyone's there to well, see you. Well, you know, of course one's nervous, and yeah. everybody should be and uh, that's perfor a performer, I think. I mean, do you get nervous before? No. No? No. That's unbelievable. I used to. I used to get nervous. When I started doing this don't show... Don't scratch I, it. It's don't me. scratch no, it. No, 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 it's not a good idea. I, I, it'll have to go. It's either, it's either that or scratch another part of me. Heaven <laughs> <laughs> for mind boggles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if I didn't... See, that's moustaches. Because if I didn't have a moustache there and I just scratched like that, you wouldn't have said anything. No, I wouldn't. Nah, see? Yeah, see? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> hey, you're doing uh, Vegas week. I am doing Vegas. Have you done Vegas? I have done Vegas. You're quite a lot, probably. Yeah. No, no. Oh. I did it once. All I right, think. don't be, no, no, be strict. <laughs> no, it was just... I did it once at the Caesars Palace. Oh, right. And uh, I did about uh, 16 performances there many years ago. It's changed a lot since yeah, I was Yeah, yeah, but it's changed back. Well, it's much more family-friendly. No, not anymore. No. It went family Family friendly. Really? And, yeah, it went family friendly. There was no money in it, so they kicked all the kids out. It's back to dirty, sexy Vegas. And now again. you're there, right? Yeah. And I'm right back here. <laughs> and you're back here. The lovely Julie Andrews, everybody, we'll be right back. Welcome to Family Feud. <laughs> Remember the guy on Family Feud used to kiss everybody? We were just talking about that before we came out of commerce. <laughs> we were... Remember the guy on Family Feud? He'd go around everybody and he was like in the bag and everything. And he was like, Welcome to Family Feud. <laughs> he'd kiss everybody? That's where I'm going. <laughs> My next guest... My next guest is from Australia, yeah, but he's nice. He does a great Vegas act. Please welcome shadow puppet artist extraordinaire, Raymond Crow, everybody, Raymond Crow. Thank you. Thanks, Craig. Uh, something from everyone's childhood, no matter where you come from. I 
see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue and clouds of white. The bright blessed day, the dark sacred night. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow. So pretty in the sky Are also on the faces Of people going by I see friends shaking hands Saying how do you do They're really saying I love you I hear babies cry more than I never knew and I think to myself what a wonderful world yes, I think to myself what a wonderful Raven, Raven Crow, everybody. Challenging us technically. We'll be right back. Thank you. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? Sorry, I was thinking about those, that shadow puppet thing. <laughs> Makes you think, doesn't it? <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> what did we learn on the show tonight? Well, you know what we learned? We learned that my mother hates the moustache. <laughs> we also learned that I hate the moustache. <laughs> But I don't know what to do. If I give in to you, will you respect me in the morning? <laughs> like I give a rat's ass if you respect me, but still. No, I do, I do, and I don't know what to do about this moustache. I, I will shave it off, clearly. I just don't know when. I'm like, you know I'm like Superman? No, I have nothing like Superman at all, is it? <laughs> he didn't have a moustache and he worked out. I mean, clearly, I'm nothing like Superman. <laughs> What else did we learn on the show? <laughs> we, oh, Julie Andrews told me not to scratch. <laughs> and Mary Poppins tells you not to scratch. You don't scratch. <laughs> don't scratch, you scratch. Don't, don't scratch, you scratch. All right, good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.